It was one of those fall mornings, warm with an edge of winter. Pale blue sky, farm country. The neighbor's house and barn way over there. The rest, rows of ripe corn and a couple fields of potatoes, mile on mile. I'd been digging up potatoes as fast as I could all week. They were easy for me because you don't need legs, and I didn't have any. I'd lost them in a rice paddy halfway across the world. But that was a long, long time ago. Today, we were all very excited, especially me, I think. There were some soldiers coming through town on a thank you tour. I hadn't been around the military for years, and I wanted to go and pay them my respects. I wanted them to know I was one of them, or had been. We had to leave very soon or miss the festivities. I wanted my kids to see some real soldiers, real heroes, six of them, to thank us for thinking about them and giving them our support. Everyone knew what honorable men they were and how they had bought some of the fighting to in the end and made it safer for all of us. My wife and two kids were just about to finish sprucing up. I was getting the pickup warmed up, but I couldn't get it to start just wouldn't go. My wife came out on the porch saying we better get going or we're going to be late. I had to tell them we were going to have to walk. I could see their faces drop into instant disappointment. Me too. I said, we can make it. We can make it. I'm pretty fast in that wheelchair, you know. Let's get going right now. We took off. And let me tell you, they did have to walk pretty fast to stay up with me. While we was fast walking, a couple miles up the road, the two SUVs with the soldiers and their retinue drove into town. About a thousand people from the outlying farms and the townspeople cheered and shook hands. School band played, and everybody was served lemonade and cookies. Soldiers got up one at a time and express their thanks for Karen and sending them letters and stuff. Meanwhile, we were still humping along out there on the road. There was hardly ever any traffic on the road on a regular day, but today especially there wouldn't be any. They were all at the event. My daughter was getting tired, so I put her in my lap and wheeled away. I pictured us looking like a platoon on one of those 10 mile training hikes. And I thought about the soldiers. How it was a nice thing for people to acknowledge each other for doing a good job. We didn't get that when we came back to the world from the jungles and, you know, I stopped right there. I didn't want to think about that. Some of those old feelings are just sour grapes and we got enough of that in the world already. My son called out as we went around the corner. There it is. Up ahead, we could see the town and all the parked cars and we could even hear them as a big cheer went up for something. We all got a charge of energy. We were all sweaty, a little dirty, but we poured on the coal and sped up. Suddenly, one of the big wheels on my wheelchair buckled and came off. My daughter and I spilled out into the dirt on the side of the road. We were both okay, but I was afraid that was the end of our trip. She did scratch her nose, though. I told them to go on ahead, go on ahead, and I'd fix the wheel, but they didn't want to leave me. I told them it was all right, Suddenly I saw the two black SUVs driving slowly out of town. A big cheer went up and horns honked. It was a big, grand send-off. They came right toward us. When they were almost to us, I waved. So did my wife and kids, but they didn't see us there by the side of the road. They went on picking up speed. Well, I thought things like that happen, and whatever happens, You've got to just keep on going and walk the best road you can. But it did break my heart to see my kids so disappointed. My wife had tears in her eyes. I guess I did too. I said, well, there wasn't anything else to say. I give each of my kids and my wife a hug and slowly started to fix the wheel. It was hot there and everything. Then my son said, Dad, Dad. Then I heard a voice say, Can I give you a hand? I looked up and saw a sergeant with rows of ribbons on his chest and boots you could see your face in. The other guys were already out of the car. Thanks, I said, I I think I can manage. 
he turned to my wife and said, Ma'am? She held out her hand. So nice to meet you, all of you. He turned to my son and said, What's your name? My son said, My dad was a soldier. Sergeant said he figured that and added, You must be very proud. My daughter said, I am. He leaned down to shake her hand. He took out a handkerchief and knelt down a dab at her nose. There, that ought to take care of that. One of the corporals had already fixed the wheel. I swung up into my chair. They said they had to get going. They headed for their car. I said, thank you. They stopped and turned. We looked at each other for a moment, then the sergeant said, no, thank you, sir. He motioned to his friends. Gentlemen. They snapped to attention and saluted us. I picked up my daughter, held my wife's hand. I looked down and saw my son salute back as they drove away. <laughs>